start begging, right? So um, Autodesk, big company, Adobe, big company, but this is a huge, huge problem, and it's not something that's going to get solved by one or two companies that are out there. Um, these, you know, you guys in the room, you guys are industry experts. Um, we need to get together and solve this problem together, right? This is something that isn't just going to be a unilateral effort. And it's not something we'd want to be a unilateral effort because we don't want, you know, to be saddled with a design that came out of, you know, one of the big guys just because they are the big guy. We want something that's universal and accessible. So some of the things that I think, um, you know, would make sense for this idea of solving the, the, the problem is, you know, break it down in, into, into more manageable projects. You know, we're not going to solve the client environment right away, but you know, maybe we can create some criteria around what does a browser-based green screen look like? You know, there's a there's hundred different little projects that we can start getting some good dialogue about, get some real you know, solid information, some solid documentation about how do we do this thing right if we're going to do it. You know, maybe we go to an RFC model, maybe we redesign the internet from the ground up. You know, I don't know. Um, again, this, is, this stuff is pretty new. Um, it's pretty new to me also. Um, but there's a lot of people out there that are doing this stuff. So I've got a URL up here, sassecure.com. It's, it's basically three or four guys right now <laughs> with a website with nothing on it. So don't visit it. Don't go out there. Uh, it kind of looks like it was hacked already, even though that's just our kind of boiler, boilerplate content. But that, uh, the goal there is, you know, you know, Joe White is in the audience. He's one of the guys working on it. Roby Papp has helped um, put some of this stuff together. Um, a lot of us in the Bay Area, but again, this is, I think this is a, it's a global problem. Um, you know, you think about SaaS platforms right now, it, Autodesk has this problem too. You know, we have global customers with global concerns. You know, we, we sell uh, software as a service to China, but they don't want their data leaving China. You know, how do you create a SaaS infrastructure that's region or country aware? How do you prevent selling software to Cuba? How do you, how do, you do all, all this kind of, um, you know, traditional box product processes in a SaaS environment. These are the problems that we're trying to solve, and I think this open model has been great for security. You know, I think we've made significant projects in application security in the OWASP or open format. The same exact philosophy behind SaaS Secure. So we want to look at software as a service security from a community perspective, develop community-based documents and resources, on how to do this stuff right and really steer the direction of this SaaS beast toward something that we can all live with. So that's, uh, that's, that's my begging um, on behalf of Autodesk as well as the entire SaaS industry. Is if you think you can contribute or you like the ideas or you think it's fun, I think this stuff is great, um, volunteer to, to help contribute to this stuff. So that's it. That's what I got. Any heckling? <laughs> Please be heckling. You got a question? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and and again, that's one of the reasons why I said that you know I could come in and do this presentation in 30 seconds. This is nothing new. You know, you're not walking away from your compliance requirements. You're not walking away from all the other problems that we have. So your point is great in that I think as a customer of SaaS, you don't even have to be a purveyor of SaaS, but as a customer, you're helping to drive the requirements for how this infrastructure looks, right? So you know, if you're looking for a SaaS 70 on you know what are your what, what are your controls around maintaining your SaaS environment, or if you, you know, if you're maintaining GLBA data or any of that kind of stuff, you know, absolutely all of those compliance concerns have to enter into the the infrastructure design. It's a good point. Come on, guys, give it back to me.